Man, sit your ass down. Say to me, little mo- Say it! I'm Tariq Saint- Bad- Wait, Shut the- Did I say- No! Oh! Say something else! Say something else! And ain't think I won't take him out without thinking twice? Whole thing on video, so you Keep thinking you more than me. Don't ever make that mistake again, son. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. What's next for your boy Tariq after his plan failed in that last episode? Man, all we know is this. He's Tariq St. Effin' Patrick, and he killed his own father. I mean, he ain't playing around, right? He won't think twice about taking out anybody. I mean, that boy was in there slipping up in this last episode, y'all, and it pissed a lot of people off. But it's still some people out there that say, look, it wasn't all his fault. He was just trying to go along with the game plan, and it was a minor mistake, and others are to blame. So we're going to talk about that in this video. I want you guys to make sure you check out my last few videos. I dropped a video about your boy, Davis McLean. Will he make it out this season alive? I also dropped a video about Anya Covington being Noma's weakness. Will she be Noma's downfall when it's all said and done? And also check out the video that I did about the Tejadas and their revenge on Noma. But let's talk about the topic of discussion. Your boy Tariq St. Effin Patrick, aka the Apex Predator. But one of my subs, Demarcus Vaughn, he said, you know what? We can't call him the Apex Predator. We got to call him the Latex Predator because he pulled out all those straps when it was time to clap Diana's cheeks and she was pissed off trying to get knocked up once again. That can't happen. You know what I'm saying? If Tariq is smart, he will just continue to be the latex predator because he's not close to being a real apex predator at all. The boy been slipping up. I mean, time and time again, we continue to see him make all these mistakes. But time and time again, we also continue to hear him say that he's so much better than ghosts. Like, really? Dude. Focus on yourself. Stop worrying about ghosts. Worry about what you need to do to get the job done. Now, in the last episode, we know your boy Tariq, along with the Tejadas, they came up with this game plan on the wedding day to take down Noma and Detective Don Carter, right? And as I told you guys, that whole game plan was trash from the jump. I am not setting up anything the day of the wedding, especially seeing how Noma's people they all going to be around her. All the security, her family, like it makes no sense. I don't give a damn about those damn Russians. I know people saying, look, they had to hurry up because Noma was calling about the Russians and all that. And those bodies soon, they will be identified. They still had time. Ain't no way in the hell those bodies would have been identified that quick. They still had time in my opinion. And as far as those Russians, they sent out that text talking about the job is done. I would have told her in that same text, look, I'm going to hit you up in the next few days. I'm going to stay low and I'm going to hit you up from a new number. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of hot right now. That's what I would have said. That way, if they blow you up or whatever, trying to look for you, they know you stand low and you're going to hit them up in the next few days from a new number. That would have gave them a little bit more time, in my opinion. That way, that whole Russian thing could have, you know, been neutralized a tad bit. All I'm saying is this. It would have gave them a little bit more time than they had, which they could have used, you know what I'm saying? But that's just me. And I know the fans, they're going back and forth on whose fault it is as far as why Monet got popped. And you can point the finger at everybody, right? You can say this person is the reason this didn't go the way it didn't go because of this person and that person and all this. I say this, Monet decided that she wanted to be in the drug game. So that means you got to accept all the consequences of being in the drug game. So I will blame myself. I won't put the blame on Tariq, Kane, Diana, Drew. I will blame myself because I decided to make that decision to be in it in the first place. 
I know everybody's very emotional because Monet got dropped off, but Monet made that choice to be in the game. Just like if Tariq is to get popped or dropped off, Tariq can't blame nobody but his damn self. You know what I'm saying? Because he decided that he wanted to be in the game. Now, as far as the whole game plan thing with Detective Diane Carter, I know the fans were saying like, man, Tariq, he was just going along with the game plan. He wasn't even supposed to, you know, shoot Carter right there. He was supposed to put him in the trunk. All right. I understand your perspective and that's cool. But y'all let me know. Tariq not only stood there entirely too long, Detective Don Carter, he came out the booth, right? And then this man turned around. So Tariq, he had an advantage on him. Once he, you know, brought up Zion, Tariq could have easily blasted him in the back of his dome, took him straight out. He would have been unconscious. But no, Tariq decided to, you know, turn him around. Go back and watch the footage. Matter of fact, watch it right now. I'm going to slow it down for you guys. Look at this. This man brought up Zion, basically telling him that he knows that him and Braden took out Zion. Tariq decided to turn him around. Once he said that, it is time for you to knock this man unconscious. That would have been an easy hit for Tariq, but no. He decided that he wanted to talk entirely too much. Once he was unconscious, then when he wakes up, you can get intel on what's going on or whatever. And then you can figure out what you need to do next to get that video. That way, this man would have never been able to call Noma. And then everything that happened at that wedding would have been completely different. You know what I'm saying? It would have played out in a different way. I'm not saying Monet would have, you know, not got popped. But Monet, she would have been there with Tariq, right? She was outside waiting. All I'm saying is the ending would have been completely different. Now, we know in the next episode, Tariq has to figure out how he's going to get this video from Detective Diane Carter. I believe this is the reason why Effie will be, you know, once again, hacking another computer. And maybe she's able to get that intel to help him out. The sad thing is you cannot trust anything that Detective Diane Carter talking about. I mean, he always runs his mouth. And this whole thing about Zion, how long have you had this video? Did you tell anybody else about it? It's the reason why he told Felicia, don't tell nobody. Don't tell Nico about this. He doesn't want anybody knowing the truth. He doesn't want anything coming back on him. This man has all types of skeletons in his closet. And I'm going to tell you right now, he will be exposed. So you can't really trust anything that this man is talking about. This is why I wanted Tariq just to pop him. You know what I'm saying? Just get him up out of here. I understand his TV. They got to stretch it out. They got to make it seem like, you know, he has an advantage over Tariq because of that video, which he does. But it's just crazy on how they choose when evidence is relevant in this show. I mean, Tariq, how many times has he committed all these crimes with no mask, no gloves on, and nothing never comes back on him or Brayden? But now all of a sudden, this is going to come back on him because now they got video, the video that ain't even been, you know, put in the system because Detective Don Carter is a dirty cop. That's why. And like I told you guys, they pick and choose when they want certain things to matter in the show. Now, we're going to find out what's next for Tariq real soon. What we do know is this. He will be going in and saving Anya Covington. I believe she's going to turn on her mom and that can turn real physical. Your girl Noma could be up out of here or she may end up just surviving. And seeing how Monet is up out of here, that relationship that Tariq has with the Tejadas will be completely different because we know they going through it. And at the same time, they getting hemmed up by the boys in the next episode. So they may end up getting locked up. So I'm eager to see how it's all going to play out for the Tejadas and your boy Tariq. Will he be able to get out of this one? Ghost try to protect him. He tried to tell him, you do not want to live this lifestyle. But Tariq decided that he wants to be a part of it because he's Tariq St. F. and Patrick. He killed his pops. You know what I'm saying? He's the apex predator. He can do it all. Well, we're going to see what you're going to do. You're talking about that you're smarter than ghosts. We still haven't seen it yet. So just stop saying it because all the moves you've been making, they've been slip ups. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't been good. You've been struggling each and every season, going back and forth between plugs, going back and forth between the Tejadas, different enemies. I mean, it's all over the place. Eventually, you're going to have to get that W. But the way it's looking, it does not look like it's going to end well for him or his junkie friend, Brayden. 
it's just all bad news, y'all. But we want to talk more about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 this week. We're going to go over some crazy fan predictions. Um, I want you guys to leave y'all fan predictions down below because we got to get ready for the series finale. We got to talk about it before it airs. Now, I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. This should be Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace. I'm Tariq Safe.